Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend. How you doing, baby? I'm really okay. How you know, are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm really good. And here's the thing. This is the first time we've ever had a guest on our weekend program. But I've got a guest because there's a new show called uh, Second Chance Chihuahuas. And I've got the young lady that's in charge of that show that's like being featured on that show. She'll be a guest later in the program. So that's coming out tonight on Nat Geo Wild. So Saturday night, the 16th, Nat Geo Wild, uh, 9, 8 Central. So if you get a chance, tune in. I think it sounds like a neat idea for a show. And you're not even paying attention. I'm sure it does sound like a great idea for her. Hey. I have not. I didn't get to talk to her because you don't let me visit with the guests. Well, so <laughs> I will. I will let you from now on. A new study links video game playing with aggressive behavior in young adults. So there's a study. I now agree that with that. We've talked about this before, but before. I agree with it. Archaeologists are baffled by the discovery of a rare coin dating back to 200 A.D. because it appears to depict the profile of a space alien. Oh. The crown figure has a large, a large almond-shaped eyes and a tiny nose and mouth. The flip side of the coin shows a Stonehenge-like temple. Oh, and weird. And it's from 200 AD, so they're trying to figure out exactly what that's about. And how do about. they know it's from 200 AD? I don't know. That's what it says on the on the coin. I don't know what it... I'll have to check into that. Archaeologists are baffled. How do you think I would know? So, <laughs> Coming up, we'll tell you what's happening that's special this weekend. That's on the way. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Saturday, April the 16th is Auctioneer's Day. It's also Husband Appreciation Day. So, hey, show some appreciation, Heidi. It's also a national... And if your husband has, happens to be an auctioneer, it's a very <laughs> special day at your household. Uh, and if you live in an orchid, I'm sorry, an orchard, no... <laughs> It is Orchid, National Orchid Day. Never mind. If you live in an orchid? I was going to say in an orchard, but then I realized it's orchid. We fairies? National Orchid Day, National Healthcare Decision Day, National Wear Your PJs to Work Day, Record Store Day, and Save the Elephant Day. There you go. Tomorrow is Bat Appreciation Day on Sunday the 17th, Blah 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 Day, Ellis Island Family History Day, Ford Mustang Day, International Haiku Poetry Day, and Nothing Like a Dame Day. Okay. It's a busy weekend. I, I guess mean, so. You better get out there and celebrate because if you don't, I mean, look what you're missing out on. Save the elephant day today? Come on. Coming up here in a bit, we've got a fun story to share. It's on the way. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by Knowles Systems. If you have funds earning less than 6%, listen to this, commercial mortgage bridge loans pay 6% to 8%. That might be just what you need. You're placed in first position on loans secured by high-quality commercial real estate like hotels, apartments, and office buildings. Your principal never fluctuates in value. You receive 6% per year paid monthly, and your principal is returned in full at the end of each cycle. You never pay commissions, management fees, or asset charges, and you can make these loans inside or outside of an IRA. I'll give you a toll-free number to call, 888-547-8007. Start earning 6% now. Call 888-547-8007. John and Heidi. You know it's true because you heard it on the radio. Imagine taking a simple blood test to determine if you have cancer. That could be coming soon to a doctor's office near you. A blood test so sensitive it could spot a single cell of cancer lurking among a, among a billion healthy ones, and it's moving one step closer to being available at your doctor's office, Heidi. That's pretty cool. Boston scientists who invented the test and healthcare giant Johnson & Johnson are joining forces to bring it to the market. Four big cancer centers will also start studies using this experimental test, uh, stray cancer cells in the blood mean that a tumor has spread or is likely to. Many doctors believe this test could capture such cells and it would have the potential to transform care for many types of cancer, especially breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, and lung cancer. Hmm. So does that mean they wouldn't have to jam that thing up your tush anymore? Just do a blood test instead? That would be amazing. That would be awesome. Uh, initially, doctors wanted to use the test to try to predict what treatments would be best for each patient's tumor and find out quickly if it was working. So that is a really cool thing. Here's the, the good news. There are scientists there in Boston that are working on something that matters. We have other scientists that are coming up with all kinds of studies for things that don't matter. Almost every day, we'll probably have at least one of them today in the, in the show. Don't yeah. we often hear about dumb things that don't matter? Oh, yeah. 
this this actually matters. So I'm really glad to hear they're doing that. And I wonder how Johnson and Johnson got involved. We just saw an ad on TV last night that said their baby powder is causing cancer. <laughs> well, maybe that's why they wanted to be able to detect it. We were flipping through the channels. Get ahead of some of those lawsuits. A commercial came on and it said, "Do you use Johnson and Johnson baby powder?" <laughs> I was like, ha- "Didn't everybody? It could be causing cancer." I was like, "Well, <laughs> now I don't feel good." I had to call my mom. Hey, mom, did you use Johnson and Johnson? Uh, All right, you know it's true because you heard it on the radio. The John and Heidi Show is brought to you in part by the Keystone Treatment Center. This is your brain, and this is your brain on drugs. We share silly stories here on the program, but addiction is no joke. If you or someone you know suffers with an addiction to drugs or alcohol, make today the day you seek help. Call toll-free 844-204-1055. That's a toll-free number. Again, 844-204-1055. And this is your brain on drugs. Two men who were angry over their food shot up a taco truck in Stockton, California. (laughs) What? (laughs) Police arrived to to find that no employees had been shot, thank goodness, but the dissatisfied customers were armed with a shotgun, and they did shoot up a taco truck. Police gave no details on what specifically the customers did not like about the food, but they may have been under the influence of something. Do you think... (laughs) Tequila. Really? (laughs) I honestly don't know what the... What would lead to you thinking that the right response to this would be shooting up a taco truck? I mean, I was upset one time because they put salsa on my taco and I said I didn't want it. And you threw it at the taco truck. Uh, But it was when I was young and stupid. But now I'm old and stupid and I wouldn't do that. But I I can tell you. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. I'd be a lot nicer about it. I would hand the burrito back from across the room. So (laughs) No, I wouldn't do that. Anyway, uh, I would not shoot up a taco truck, I can tell you that. But that is what happened, again, in Stockton, California. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend. A spelling error is a bit of an embarrassment here. Uh, This is a moment of duh from a while back, from 2002, at a Western Illinois University. Not one basketball team member had noticed for several games after uh, appearing in uniform that their media guide, uh, that somebody had pointed out to them that Illinois was spelled incorrectly. They had misspelled the name of the state. So that's not good. uh, On what? On their uniforms and (laughs) in their media guide. Yeah. That's so, awesome. Somebody needs to go back to That's first grade awesome. and figure out how to spell Illinois. I wonder if they spelled it with an O-Y. Uh, <laughs> they spelled it with an extra I. Huh. I don't know. I'm looking to see how they spelled it. I don't know. It, According to this, it's not spelled I-L-L-I-N-I-O-S instead of O-I-S. There we go. Ah. So they had the O and the I in the wrong place. That's what they done. Anyway, it's your moment of duh. We have your scoop of the day on the way and a special guest coming up in a bit on this weekend edition of the John and Heidi Show. The scoop of the day is brought to you by Wells Blue Bunny. If you want delicious ice cream, be sure to look for the Blue Bunny. Sure to have your favorite flavors. Learn more at BlueBunny.com. Now your scoop of the day. A guy in Spain taught his three-year-old daughter to always tell the truth. But it backfired on him when the police came looking for him about Uh-oh. a robbery. The little girl said, yeah, he's in the basement. And yeah, he's the guy that robbed it. <laughs> well, hey, she's, she's telling the truth. A new list has been published of fresh fruit and uh, veggies that have the most pesticides. Strawberries, apples, and peaches are on the list. They get a lot of pesticides. In other words, they say it is skip, it's probably safer to skip the fresh fruit and just eat Fruit Loops. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't think that's what they're saying. That's not what they're saying. But that's they may what be saying. saying wash your fruit. <clears throat> wash your fruit really Goodly. There you go. Leonard Nimoy, sadly, passed away a little over a year ago. And shortly after his death, his son Adam Nimoy launched a Kickstarter campaign to produce a movie paying tribute to his papa. The campaign raised a total of 662640 bucks. Heidi. Wow. Now, a year later, the first trailer for the project is out. It's called For the Love of Spock. It'll be presented at the Tribeca Film Festival on Saturday the 16th. Hey, that's today. And it will be made available online at a later date this year. So if you'd like to know more, I'll put the link to the video trailer at Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. President Barack Obama is a big fan of uh, a program called Game of Thrones on HBO. 
and the sixth season is coming out. Well, he got an advanced copy of the sixth season of Game of Thrones. Uh, they didn't give them to anybody else because they'd done it in the past where they'd given out to several people, but this year they only had one person that got it, and it was Obama. Doesn't he have anything better to do? Or exactly. The <laughs> world is falling apart around us, and he's watching DVDs. I'm going watch, to watch Game of Thrones. Hey, Record Store Day is today. We talked about that earlier. It's an annual event started in 2007. It's held today. It's the first Saturday. I'm sorry, the third Saturday of each April celebrates the culture of independently owned record stores. The day brings together fans, artists, and thousands of independent record stores across the world. A number of records are pressed specifically for Record Store Day and are only distributed to shops participating in the event. And now I got another thing I got to throw on our Facebook page. I'll, I'll put the list on there. Animal experts say that tigers are making a comeback, Heidi. Really? Apparently they were kind of dwindling in population, but they are making a comeback. And this is the most interesting thing. There are more tigers kept in the United States as pets than there are tigers in the wild. Really? I didn't even know you could have a tiger as a pet. Siegfried and Roy had tigers. There you go. See? We need to go tiger shopping. I guess lots Mike, of tigers. Mike Tyson had a tiger in the, the te- that one movie. Yeah. Probably not for real. Officer Brian Stockbine of New Jersey, it was the Evesham Town Police area there, has been honored by his department after saving three lives in 10 days. The first oh, life cool. Officer Stockbine saved was that of a woman who appeared to be dead on her front lawn. He was able to resuscitate the woman and discovered that she had been beaten by her husband, who was allegedly attempting to kill her. During the second Yikes. rescue, Stockbine... Uh, pulled a unconscious woman who was suffering from a diabetic attack from a smoking vehicle. And then a third incident, he performed CPR on a woman who had reportedly stopped breathing, and he stabilized her. So this guy saved three lives in 10 days. That's pretty cool. Hats off to that man. That is a policeman right there that I think absolutely rocks. Uh, Lifetime TV. We don't get that channel anymore, but back when we did... I wouldn't watch it because when you would, it was always so sad. I like Lifetime. Oh, I would walk in. I'm like, what you watching? You're like, Lifetime. Like, I got to leave the room or I'm going to start crying. (laughs) Every single show on there. Do you remember that? Yes. All of the Lifetime original movies are so sad. And they've got a new one coming out. A new Lifetime TV movie centered on the drinking water contamination crisis in Flint, Michigan. Oh. Going to document the events that led up to the crisis and will reportedly cover the politics behind the issue and the contamination's impact on the town's residents, which they say are a really a, a, a very big deal. So there you go. You ready for a strange law? Sure thing. All right. Our strange law for today comes from Morrisville, Pennsylvania. Women must have a permit to wear cosmetics there. I think we talked about that like a week ago. So that is not uh, a new strange law, but it is a strange law. It is law. a strange law. And this has been your Scoop of the Day. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by Knowles Systems. If you have funds earning less than 6%, listen to this, commercial mortgage bridge loans pay 6% to 8%. That might be just what you need. You're placed in first position on loans secured by high-quality commercial real estate like hotels, apartments, and office buildings. Your principal never fluctuates in value. You receive 6% per year paid monthly, and your principal is returned in full at the end of each cycle. You never pay commissions, management fees, or asset charges. And you can make these loans inside or outside of an IRA. Start earning 6%. Go to CommercialMortgageBridgeLoans.com right now. What are you waiting for? Go to CommercialMortgageBridgeLoans.com. Again, that's CommercialMortgageBridgeLoans.com. John and Heidi. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Saturday. You know what? We've got a special thing today. We usually don't have a guest on Saturdays, but we have a TV program premiering tonight on Nat Geo Wild. It's called Second Chance Chihuahuas, and the star of this show is somebody that you've probably seen on television before, Laura Dash. She's a former stunt double on movies including Jurassic Park, Interview with a Vampire, The Goonies, Hook, and many, many more. Now she's got a new TV show called Second Chance Chihuahua. It premieres tonight on Nat Geo Wild. Cameras are going to be following her and her husband Jim Peterson as they run Doolittle's Ranch in Studio City, California. They've rescued more than 2,000 chihuahuas there, and we've got Laura on the line right now. Laura, how you doing today? Good. How are you? Fantastic. Second Chance Chihuahuas. What a cool idea for a show. Yeah, we're excited. It's a great show. It's very family-oriented, and I hope uh, everybody 
everyone tunes in and watches it. It's a great show. Now, first of all, let's talk a, a little bit about Doolittle's Ranch. How long have you had Doolittle's Ranch? I have had it about five years. Very nice. And and what what was it that got you interested in, in Chihuahuas in, in particular and, and the Doolittle's Ranch? Um, I started volunteering for our local rescues, and I saw people just, you know, dumping Chihuahuas left and right. And it was just, like, very heartbreaking to see this. And so I said, you know, I'd like to become a dog trainer. So, you know, to help people, you know, keep their dogs, you know, in their house. Because I'd see people, you know, dumping dogs because I can't potty train the dog. I can't, you know, the dog is barky. The dog is this. The dog can't walk on a leash. The dog is too timid. So becoming a dog trainer, I helped save lots of dogs from, you know, entering, you know, our city shelters. And then I bought my house, and then we called it the Doolittle Ranch, and all the dogs that we, you know, rescue and we save come to our Doolittle's Ranch. That is awesome. Uh, again, visiting right now with Laura Dash. She's the owner of Doolittle's Ranch. Also, uh, on the new program, Second Chance Chihuahuas, season premiere tonight at 9, 8 central on Nat Geo Wild. Now, what kind of cool stuff are we going to see when we tune in to watch this program? Uh, basically, it's a story. We showcase uh, three dogs, and it talks about their story of their beginning, their middle, and end. And, uh, you know, it's different ways of, you know, rescuing the dog from the shelter, rescuing the dog, you know, from the streets. Um, and, you know, it's just some, you know, great heartwarming stories you know, of these chihuahuas, of these, you know, underdogs, these throwaway dogs. That's really, really cool. Now, I got to tell you, my wife and I have two puppy dogs, and one is half chihuahua, half poodle. That Her name is Mandy. We got her first, and she seemed so lonely and bored. We said, you know, we, we should get her... We should get her friend, so uh, we ended up getting her sister, and she's half poodle and half Maltese. We love our dogs. We absolutely love them. They are adorable, and I, I understand, you know, the barky thing. Right, and they're dogs. They're, and yeah. me, if you're a chihuahua lover, they're like potato chips. You can't have just one. You know, I know several people that have chihuahuas, and they are awesome dogs, but there was kind of a big fad for a while. I know Paris Hilton and Elle Woods and, you know, the Taco Bell dog, that kind of spiked interest in chihuahuas, and a lot of people were out getting them. Is that fad kind of done now? I think so, and I think it wasn't really so much them. I think it was, you know, society saying, I want to be like them. So then they were like, okay, I want to get a chihuahua now, you know, especially like Taco Bell. It's like, oh, look how cute this dog is. Oh, I want one. You know, and then they then say, look, I got the Chihuahua Taco Bell dog. Yeah, but then mine doesn't talk. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mine doesn't either. <laughs> Again, visiting with Laura Dash from Doolittle's Ranch. Now, Second Chance Chihuahuas. Uh, how long have you guys been working on putting this program together? From the beginning to now, about two years. Is this something that you've always wanted to do? I see in your background that you were a stunt double in the past, working on some of my favorite movies, The Goonies. That's awesome. So h had you always wanted to do a, like a TV show? Not really. I never thought about it. And when the casting call came out, all my friends were like, Laura, this is you. This is so you. You have to submit yourself. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know, because I'm just used to, you know, jumping off buildings and, you know, a little bit of dialogue here and there, uh, but never, you know, thinking about, you know, well, I could be doing a series. Well, we're excited for you, and, and I hope that it gets picked up for a whole bunch of additional seasons. Uh, we've got the premiere. Thank you so much. The premiere of Second Chance Chihuahuas tonight at 9, 8 central on Nat Geo Wild. Laura, this sounds like it's going to be a really fun show. Um, I just think it's a great family show, and what's great about it is you can watch the show with your whole family. And uh, it's educational, and it's fun, and it's heartwarming. And here's what's going to happen. I know that right now there are chihuahuas in dog shelters all over the country, one of the most euthanized breeds, sadly. What's going to happen, though... Doolittle's Ranch, Laura Dash, and Second Chance Chihuahuas. There are going to be people out there that watch this show. They fall in love with these puppies, and they're going to be going adopting them all over the country. But that's good because then you're help saving a life. I think that is awesome. I think it's going to be really, really good. So, well, thank you for doing what you're doing, Laura. And I'm really glad that they're shining the spotlight on you. And it's going to be really cool to watch uh, Second Chance Chihuahuas. Season premiere tonight at 9, 8 central on Nat Geo Wild. 
Thank you so much, Laura, for chatting with us today. Thank you for having me. I very much appreciate it and enjoy the show. Again, Laura Dash right there with Second Chance Chihuahuas. It premieres tonight at 9, 8 central on Nat Geo Wild. I encourage you to tune in. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Saturday. This portion of the program is brought to you by Keystone Treatment Center. Addiction is no laughing matter. Call Keystone Treatment Center toll free at 1-844-204-1055. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's up, John? The first letter Vanna White ever turned over on the Wheel of Fortune was a T. It was part of a word <laughs> phrase, part of the title puzzle, General Hospital, the T in hospital. Ah. First one she ever turned around. Uh, a fun fact for you, Heidi. What's up, John? In Elizabethan England, the spoon was a novelty, and it was such a rare prize, people would carry their own spoon with them to banquets. Your dad would like that. My dad would, my dad would do that. Charlie has his own special <laughs> spoon that he hides when people come over. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Qantas. The Australian airline is an acronym. That's why there's no U behind the Q. It stands for Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Service. Ah. Mm-hmm. I never even really paid attention to the fact that there wasn't a U. There's no U. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? John Adams was the first president to display fireworks at the White House. Oh. I think John Adams is one of the most overlooked presidents. He did a lot of cool stuff. People, you know, He's not on any currency. George Washington is. Thomas Jefferson. They're both on two. Come on. Let's put Adams on the nickel or something. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, Jeff? Dr. Seuss is known for writing a lot of children's books, but as a child, he had no books of his own. Oh, that's maybe that's sad. why he wrote books. I think so, too. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Tea bags were invented by Thomas Sullivan of New York City. He first used them to send samples to his customers instead of selling it in more expensive tins. I actually and knew that. I know. And then the people were using them. They were dipping them in water, and they're like, hey, this is really cool. But that was not the original intent. Wouldn't it have been cool if his name would have been Lipton? No. Thomas <laughs> Sullivan. Anyway, that's a couple of fun facts for you right here on the John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by RadioReallyWorks.com. I know you're listening to a podcast, but did you know the John and Heidi Show is also a radio show? And for those of you who have businesses, you should consider using radio to advertise your business. We can even help you create some catchy little jingles or amazing radio ads that will help pull people in. Get all the details or just learn more at RadioReallyWorks.com. That's RadioReallyWorks.com. John and Heidi. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend. Since the days of Adam and Eve, gals have always known one thing for sure, that men don't have a clue. No doubt guys feel the same way about women. But Barbara and Alan Please, authors of Why Men Don't Have a Clue and Women Always Need More Shoes, have some advice that can help both sexes get a grip on what's going on and make a lasting love connection. You ready for this? Sure. Here's a test about the for the ladies. Do you agree with these statements about your relationship with men? Nagging will pay off in the long run. Agree or disagree? It depends on what it is you're nagging The about. answer is no. It says stop <laughs> nagging. Next, he should enjoy shopping as much as I do. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Yeah. Don't, don't agree with that, ladies. If you think that's the case, you're wrong. It says right here, Men find shopping stressful. I agree. Uh, Without a remote to channel surf, he's lost. True or false? True. True. Accept this fact. (laughs) If it drives you crazy, get another TV and sit somewhere with your pet or, you know, go in the other room and do something else. Uh, Next, it says they're stupid to not ask for directions, right or wrong? Wrong. Wrong. Incredibly, men have an innate ability to find their way without asking for help says here that they find their way. Uh, it can't hurt to have a map in the car, but if you're really lost, you do need to ask for help, guys. I'm serious. Okay, guys, how much do you know about women? Here's a, a same test for you. She wants you to solve her problems. No, that's not true. No. She wants you to listen. So when she comes and says, hey, I got this problem, don't say, well, I'm going to fix it. Say, well, that sounds terrible. I'm really sorry to hear that. Would you like some help with that? <laughs> it's not about Women, the nail. Women, yeah. If you don't know what she's talking about, go on YouTube and just check out It's Not About the Nail. Hilarious. Uh, men, do you agree or disagree? Women have too many shoes. Can never have too many shoes. Never. Accept it. She likes shoes. Don't worry about it. Just like you can never have too many lamps. Yeah. Or pillows on our bed, or apparently. Pillows. There's not room for us anymore. <laughs> Women make such a big deal over the toilet seat being up. No, that is, I do not. That is true. No. It says, You've never fallen into a toilet in the middle of the night. 
Uh, if you if you've never done that, uh, you don't understand why it's a big okay. deal. Oh, I, do saying, I make an issue of that at our house? No, you don't. No, but I'm saying they're saying that it's that it is a big deal. I don't understand so. why women do. I mean, what yeah. what are other women doing? Flying backwards, <laughs> leap from the door. <laughs> How would they not know? She if didn't even notice that <laughs> toilet seat. <laughs> Could have just moved the whole toilet and see what happens. <laughs> and the last thing on here, they beat around the bush instead of just getting to the point. It says men and women communicate on different levels. You want to get to the point, she will eventually just sit back, nod, and agree, and eventually you'll know what she's talking about. Actually, I think it's the other way around us, at our house. Probably. <laughs> there you go. Some fun, interesting stuff that we all learned together right here on the John and Heidi Show. This portion of the program is brought to you by RVWheeliter.com. If you want to buy or sell an RV, go to RVWheeliter.com. List your RV for free. Learn more at RVWheeliter.com. It's a reality show about a pig, and I'm not talking about The Bachelor. Uh, if you're into <laughs> reality shows, uh, Big Brother was popular for a while. Well, Germany has their own version of a popular show. Along with the human cast, there's also a pig. Well, there was a pig until recently. The pig ran away. After several days on the lamb, the pig... Or would you say on the lamb, or would you say on the pig? Anyway, the, the pig, after several days, Conrad the pig had been recaptured. Conrad dashed for freedom while nobody was watching... Snuck through the garden fence, found a hole in the fence, and unfortunately he was caught by a security guard as he tried to wriggle his way for liberty under the fence. Hmm. During his escape attempt, Conrad the pig hurt his snout and hooves. He's been ordered to undergo a few days of rest and relaxation before being sent back to the set of Germany's Big Brother TV show. Hmm. So on their Big Brother, they have a bunch of people in the house and a pet pig. And the pet pig is the most popular character. Hmm. So there you go. Coming up in a bit, we've got uh, Don't Get Mad, Get Even, or Get Something. We're going to chat about that in a bit. 29-year-old Nicola Hughes is a hero, kind of, sort of. She caught a mugger, but she didn't really catch a mugger. Does this make sense yet? Not at all. I didn't think so. She single-handedly caught a mugger on the streets by striking him with her purse. One problem, though... He wasn't it a mugger. Wasn't a mugger. <laughs> he was just playing one on television. They were filming ah. <laughs> a mugging scene, for, and it was a reconstruction for a TV show, but it looked so real, she thought he was really mugging somebody. Good for her. As the actor mugger finished his scene and ran away like he was supposed to, she knocked the snot out of him, smacked him on the head with a handbag, leaving him on the ground with a bloody nose. Although it was a mistake, the police did commend Ms. Hughes on her bravery for beating up that mugger that wasn't really a mugger. Where was this at? <laughs> this recently happened in, where was this? It does not say. Uh, TV crew, da, da, da. Uh, it doesn't say. Probably Mugger's in, lucky she didn't have a gun. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. Imagine that. <laughs> Next on our episode of, <laughs> we got a whole new crime. All right. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by Knowles Systems. If you have funds earning less than 6%, listen to this, commercial mortgage bridge loans pay 6% to 8%. That might be just what you need. You're placed in first position on loans secured by high-quality commercial real estate like hotels, apartments, and office buildings. Your principal never fluctuates in value. You receive 6% per year paid monthly and your principal is returned in full at the end of each cycle. You never pay commissions, management fees, or asset charges, and you can make these loans inside or outside of an IRA. I'll give you a toll-free number to call, 888-547-8007. Start earning 6% now. Call 888-547-8007. John and Heidi. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend. I got the top fibs told by people from Lifestyle Magazine. Now, I don't really like to lie, but I'll admit that I have to once in a while. We okay. all do. So, and, and you do it too, people. So if you're sitting there going, oh, it's not. It's a bad. I don't like to lie. Okay. Sometimes Let's, you have to tell lies so that people's feelings aren't hurt. Exactly. And that's what's on this list, the majority of these. It doesn't seem to stop most people. 1,600 people were surveyed about the little white lies. Is there such a thing as a white lie? Yeah. No, there's not. A lie is a lie. It's not a white but lie. But it's a nice lie. That's okay. why it's a white lie. So you're just being polite, really? Yeah. Here are the biggest fibs we tell people. I'm trying to see if... 
Okay, I'm going to start on the bottom of the list and work my way up because I think these are the, I don't know how, they didn't number them. They're just a bunch of dots in front of them. It's all right. It happens to everybody. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> Another lie. You don't need it in writing. It's my personal guarantee. Oh, yeah. That's a uh, I need huge that in, lie. I need that in writing. <laughs> and I'm still going to need it in writing. Put that map away. I know how to get there. Uh-huh. Oh. Again, top lies told. The new ownership shouldn't affect you. Everything will remain the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet. Mom and Dad, I need my own place so I can have some peace and quiet, you know, to study. Uh Sure, that's what you want to do. This car is like brand new. Also on the list of the biggest lies we tell our friends and others, uh, go ahead. You can tell me. I won't get mad. (laughs) That's been you on more than one occasion. Then whatever it is that I've done is so stupid that you do get mad. Uh, Go. uh, What's the next one? Oh, it's delicious, but I can't eat another bite. I'm so full. Yeah, that's not delicious. It's terrible. Uh, then you take a left. You can't miss it. Yeah, you can miss it, and you're going to miss it. <laughs> Go ahead. He's never bitten anybody. <laughs> so I'm going to be the first is what you're saying. Well, we can still be good friends. No, most of the yeah, time. Yeah, most time you won't hmm. ever speak to that person again. Two and a half men? I've never seen it. I only watch PBS. Yeah, sure you do. Uh, again, the big lies we tell from Lifestyle Magazine. You get this one, next one's on me. Yeah, you get this one, and then I'm leaving as soon as it's gone. <laughs> She's not overweight. She's just big boned. Another lie. This is a limited time offer, and it's yours free only if you call now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Call me in 45 minutes. It's still going to work. Call me next week. It'll still work. You really shouldn't have spent so much. No, what they really mean is, this is so ugly. You really shouldn't have bought this one. (laughs) Next one is, hold on. I'll connect you right away. Usually that means you're going to sit here and listen to awful music for a few minutes. And then the top one on the list, the very first one is, your baby is so cute. That is so... That is so mean that that's the very okay. top one. Most of the time, babies Most are adorable. Most of the time, babies are cute, but okay, let's every not go there. Once in a while, do you want to name any names right now, Heidi? No. Okay, I just want to make sure. Not at all. <laughs> Again, these are the top fibs, the top white lies, as uh, according to Lifestyle Magazine. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a weekend. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. This could have ended really, 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 really badly. We always like to wrap things up around here with some good news. And I am so proud of this team for not naming this kid some stupid name. High school baseball team has been given naming rights for their coach's baby after winning 14 games. Palm Bay's Florida coach, Rob Query, promised the Heritage High School Panthers they could name their his unborn child if they won 14 games. I wonder what his wife thought of that. And they won 14 games. The Panther, Panthers were a long shot to achieve their goal. He didn't think they were going to do it. <laughs> but when Query proposed the deal, they hadn't won a single game. But the desire to name a human child is a powerful one, apparently. And the Panthers <laughs> pulled through with their first winning season in team history. What name do you think a bunch of high school kids picked for this poor child? Was it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. It's a boy. Adam. No. Benny Smalls. That's not so bad. Benny? Benny Smalls, and their last name is Query. Benny Smalls Query. And it's after Scotty Smalls and Benny the Jet Rodriguez from the baseball movie The Sandlot. Benny is due in September. I'm really glad they didn't name him something that you would think high school kids would have named him. So what's your son's name? I'm sure the parents wouldn't have allowed that. I mean, there there were probably some ground rules that they had to follow. Oh, he's adorable. What's his name? Snot farts a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Snot farts a lot. That's quite a name for a baby. <laughs> Maybe a dog. <laughs> so is that all one name? Snot farts a lot? Hyphenated? First and middle? So Benny Smalls is his name. And my last name is Small. So is yours. People are always saying, you're killing me, Smalls. But we're just small. So it's you're killing me, Small. I don't have an S on the end of mine. Unless they're talking about both of us. Well, then you're, we're killing them. <laughs> All right. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for spending your Saturday with us right here on the John and Heidi Show. Time now for the bonus break. Only available here on the John and Heidi Show podcast.
And your bonus break is brought to you by the good folks at Knowles Systems. If you haven't heard of them, well, you need to listen up because i got to tell you all about this. If you have funds earning less than 6%, maybe you should check into a better system like Knowles Systems. They have commercialmortgagebridgeloans.com. If you've never heard of a commercial mortgage bridge loan, I'm going to tell you what this is. It's a loan paying 6% to 8%, and it could be just what you need. You're placed in the first position on loan, secured by high-quality commercial real estate like hotels and apartments and office buildings. Your principal never fluctuates in value. You receive 6% per year paid monthly, and your principal is returned in full at the end of each cycle. You never pay commissions, management fees, or asset charges. You can make these loans inside or outside of an IRA. If you'd like more info on how you can start earning 6% or more right now, call 888-547-8007. I'll give you that number again in a second. But first, you might want to just check out the website if that's easier. CommercialMortgageBridgeLoans.com. Again, CommercialMortgageBridgeLoans.com or 888-547-8007. As we get to our bonus break, we're going to learn some stuff today, Heidi. Did okay. you know the Concorde airplane travels so fast that it is possible to arrive before you leave? You can arrive no. at your destination two hours earlier than when you left. If you fly from London to New York by Concorde, due to the time zones you cross, oh, okay. you arrive two hours before you left. Huh. I don't think the Concords are flying anymore because they had like one of them that cracked open or something. Remember that? That was a couple know. years back. Hey, something else that we get to learn in our bonus break here. There's a thing called a Sifgo Mama Nominator. I have no clue what you're talking I about. I probably said it all wrong anyway. It's a thing used to measure blood pressure. A Sifgo Mama Nominator. Okay. If you just mumble it, then they'll think you got it right. Or they'll realize you're a moron, one or the other. Hey, the reason firehouses have circular stairways back in the day was because they had horses and if they had straight stairways, the horses would walk up the steps. So they put in spiral stairways. That's why. So if that's, ever... that's an interesting fact. That, that is. one's cool. That's really cool stuff. Uh, another interesting fact for you here, if I can get to them. General Lee cars used in the popular TV show The Dukes of Hazard were all 1969 Dodge Chargers. Hmm. And they used a bunch of them. Oh, I'm and, sure they did. Yeah, they wrecked a lot of them. And there's still several that are out there. I've actually seen like three different... You know, set used Dukes of Hazard General Lee cars. Yeah. Those are, I, I think they're cool. Um, Namco is the manufacturer of Pac Man, the video game. They estimated that the original arcade games have been played over 10 billion oh, times. Oh, I'm sure. 10 billion times yeah. since the 1980s. I'm sure. And sometimes that was just one person playing them. <laughs> I used to play Pac Man all oh, the time. I, I love loved Pac Man. If you know of somebody that has a Pac Man game they'd like to sell, you let me know. Uh, as long as one it's of affordable. One of the, the little chairs, like the two sided cool. ones? Either one. Those or That's Ms. Pac Man or a stand up one. I'd like to get either one of those. In, in the United Kingdom, three million people play bingo per year in the UK. That's a lot of bingo right there. I like bingo. You it, never take me to bingo. We'll have to go play bingo sometime. If that's what it takes to make you happy, woman, <laughs> we'll go play bingo. Uh, it's against the law to mispronounce the name of the state Arkansas. I mean, Arkansas. <laughs> Sorry. Did I just break the law? Apparently. Or is that only in that state? Arkansas. It's spelled like Arkansas, but that's illegal to say it that way. Hmm. Golf was banned in England in 1457. It was considered a, quote, distraction from the serious pursuit of archery, end quote. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Instead of playing archery, people were playing golf, and they made it, they made it illegal. The short-term memory capacity for most people is between five and nine items or digits. That's the reason phone numbers were kept to seven digits. Hmm. Otherwise, you wouldn't know your phone number. You know your dog smells 20 times better than you do? Wait a minute. Let me say that the right way. <laughs> your dog can smell things 20 times better than you do. <laughs> your dog probably say. doesn't smell any better than you do. <laughs> <laughs> then I must really stink because that <laughs> dog is terrible. Uh, before 1859, baseball umpires were seated in padded chairs behind home plate. Can you imagine that? That's a bad idea. Sitting back there just relaxing and calling it a good old day. Pollsters said that 40% of dog and cat owners carry pictures of their pets in their wallets. And Heidi, I have to ask, do you have our dog's photo in your wallet or purse? I do not. In your purse? No. Do we have one in here in the studio? No. Wait, we need to. Forty uh, percent of dog owners and cat owners do. We are terrible, terrible people. <laughs> Bubble gum contains rubber. Did you know that? Yes, actually, just I a little bit of it. That. And our final fun fact that I didn't get to earlier in the week: uh, 
only 55% of all Americans know that the sun is a star. I'm hoping that that's wow. not people listening here. You all know that, right? Our that's, sun that's really sad. is a star. Only 55% of Americans knew that. Now, if you didn't know that, that's okay. Now you do. So please go about the rest of your life knowing that giant ball of fire in the sky that we call the sun, it's a star like the little tiny dots we see at night. It's just a whole lot closer. Hmm. We rotate around that. It's a star. So for the 45% that didn't know that, what were you doing in elementary school? <laughs> I mean, that was like elementary stuff. All right, that's going to do it for your bonus break. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. The bonus break is brought to you by Knowles Systems. If you've got funds earning less than 6%, get a better system. Get one from Knowles Systems. Get what they call a commercial mortgage bridge loan. They earn 6 to 8%. Could be just what you need. All of the details can be found at commercialmortgagebridgeloans.com.